Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you the top 5 steps you should do after downloading Minecraft. So today we're going to teach you guys the first 5 things you should do right after downloading Minecraft. Well the very first thing you should do is open Minecraft. Yep, that's right. You don't want to do anything else besides open the game. That's step number one is open the game. Step number two, wait for the game to load. All right. Uh, oh, my graphics drivers are apparently not updated. All right. Step number three, you want to hit the play button. Step number four, it, obviously I've gone ahead and I've made a few worlds. Um, but step number four, if you were, you know, starting over new you wouldn't have any worlds you want to create a new world you want to decide if it's going to be a new realm and you're going to pay four dollars a month or if you're going to start a free world i recommend a free world now you're going to see this screen now i do have some actual world templates such as dinosaurs you won't have any you'll have these guys the featured stuff you want to go ahead and create a new world which is going to create this module now we're not going to get into anything fancy but the next step is you should hit create. Alternatively, you can name your world. You could set it whether you want it to be creative, survival, or adventure. Um, and you could set the difficulty from easy, normal, hard, or peaceful. Peaceful will mean that there will be no aggressive mobs that actually spawn, but you'll still get like the passive mod such as pigs, sheep, and cows that you have no idea exists because you haven't loaded up Minecraft yet. All right, next step is you're going to load up the world and you're going to look around. And you're going to go beautiful now the next step is when nobody's looking you're actually gonna go on settings and you're gonna change your game mode over to creative make sure you are not recording or streaming when you do this it's quintessential that you do so and then you're gonna actually hit the E button the E button if you're playing on PC or the square button if you're playing on any console or B button or whatever it may be and you want to go over to diamonds you want to just load your inventory but you have to make sure you do one thing. You can't forget to give yourself a chest. No, wait, even better, you want to give yourself a red shulker. Absolutely important that it's a red shulker. You know what? We'll, we'll match the color of diamonds. We're going to go light blue here. Now you want to go and do this, right? You want to put your actual shulker on the ground. And you want to load that bad boy up with diamonds. Now, that's not enough diamonds. Nope, nope, that's not enough diamonds. You know what? Screw the diamonds, screw the diamonds. We want to go netherite. This is 2021, and you know what? You need netherite. Not the ingots, no, that's for poor people. You're talking about the blocks. Yep, that's right. You want to go blocks of netherite. Now, obviously, that we can't do anything else besides that, but we need elytra as well. We need elytra. Um, or I'll, oh, never mind. It won't let me select the elytra today because apparently Minecraft is a bugged game. Now what you want to do is you want to activate pick block. You want to just keep picking this block. Um, apparently my pick block won't work either. Um, but you want to just break this guy, put it down, break it, put it down, break it, and there you go. Now you're going to keep doing this over and over and over again until you have an inventory full of these shulkers. It's the easiest way to fill up your inventory, guys. I'm trusting me. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to go find somewhere really cool. Like this volcano over here, which I did not plan. And this thing is actually really kind of cool. All parodies aside, um, this is actually a really awesome landscape. All right. So you're going to go on top of this snow-covered lava mountain waterfall. And you're going to put all of these guys down. Very important step. You might need to crouch to put some of these on top of each other. And there you go. Look at that. It's not even taking it out of my inventory. So we didn't even have to do the thing where we broke everything. Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to start up a YouTube channel. You're going to call it like something something MC. I guarantee you. That's the next step. And you're going to start up your video and you're going to say, this is my first survival world. And then you're going to take a break and you're going to go, hey guys, X and such seer from Minecraft Plays. I did a little bit of mining off screen. And as you can see, we are absolutely stacked. I was so lucky in my mine shaft. We got so many diamonds and netherite blocks. And then you're going you're gonna to lose all your fans because that's how this happens. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this helps you start up your Minecraft world as well. And the last thing you need to do is you need to go back on, you know, survival. Survival. It doesn't matter if you change your personal game mode or, you know, your actual um, other game mode either. And then you're just going to go and you're going to wing yourself off.
there you go. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode. Hopefully you liked it. If you loved it, make sure to subscribe. And remember, guys, this is a parody. My last parody Minecraft video, you guys took it way too seriously. It was dislike bombed. It's a parody, guys. Lighten up. Lighten up. I'll see you guys next time. 27 likes, though. Yo. Big Sharp Gaming.